Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam Hayward. As some of you know, I am now back for what is number two of 12 haunted stories of Dorset. Uh, I got all of these places, the names of the places, from a website called dorsetmagazine.co.uk. It was in their uh, October edition, uh, naturally because of Halloween and everything. But uh, it's, I found it online by accident. I uh, just literally typed in haunted places near me and it came up because I'm in Dorset, you know. Number one on the list was Ye Old George Inn. Uh, go and check out my channel if you want to go and see what that one's about after uh, listening to this one, really. Or you could start there. I've, uh, I'm putting together like a playlist of each of them, so this will be episode number two. It's, I'm honestly really interested about some of this stuff. This place is called the Crown Hotel. Um, it is in the old part of Paul, which is like right down by the quay, uh, for anyone that does know the area. Uh, yeah, so it's going, I'm going to jump right into this and say that uh, some of the things that people have uh, been known to hear is uh, you can hear a piano playing uh, during the night, which is kind of interesting. It's like there's no piano in the building, but you can hear a piano playing. The other one is, this is actually a little bit sad, uh, this story, after uh, reading it online and even writing it, it's like, I thought, oh my god, you know, this is kind of dark, so I'm going to put out a warning now that it is an emotional piece. So, you know, if you are uh, worried about that sort of thing, then, uh, yeah, this, I'm going to put a rough idea in the description, so if you want to stop now to go and check that out to make sure that it's okay for you, by all means, please do. So you can hear two children crying or yelling um, in the place uh, during the night as it as the uh, hotel used to be home to a small family with two children. They were twins and uh, both of them had deformities. So it's uh, the parents, one of the parents, it doesn't actually say which, but it's, um, it says a parent is what I found online. And uh, is it that um, a parent went and locked the children upstairs, chained them to a wall, and uh, left them up there to die out so that uh, other people didn't have to look at their children with the deformities and everything. It's uh, the, uh, were not as they were left up there, just like no food, no water or anything, they were just chained to a wall, they were screaming as they were getting hungry and everything, it's no one ever saw them. Um, yeah, so it's they were chained to the walls and everything, and so after they passed away, it is believed that the parent then went and buried the children under the floor, uh, under the floorboards of the hotel. There's a possibility that they're still under there. I don't know if that is just like a rumor or something, but you know, some of these things this do have truth to them, which personally I believe that the reason that you can hear two children crying is because they died there. I'm not sure about the whole deformities thing. I've not looked too much into it, and this is something that allegedly happened back in like the 15th, 15th century, I think they said. Another thing that uh, you can find in the Crown Hotel is uh, there's a wraith of a young girl that can be seen leaning against the upstairs banister, um, sort of listening in on conversations below is sort of that, what it's believed to say, but it's like, you, know, you can see her just leaning against, uh, which I think is kind of be like the Grey Lady, I guess, from uh, the past video. But uh, anyway, so it's uh, one guest. This is, honest, this was uh, something that really caught my attention. Is that, uh, is I remember this one off by heart, okay. Yeah, so what happened is that uh, one guest that was staying the night uh, ends up being woken up by the door rattling really bad, sort of really uh, harshly. It's like he could see that the door handle turned and everything and it's the door swung open to reveal um, a blue orb, which uh, for those of you who don't know, it's like orbs represent people's souls and it's like they float across rooms following the path of, um, I don't know, something that they did when they were alive. So it's like a, when they go through walls and things like that, it is based on um, the fact that the when that person was around, there would have been a door there. They wouldn't be able to go through things that weren't, that just aren't there. Okay, that's what it is. It's like, um, 
It's like a film. If something happened in a particular order, the film can only show it in that order. And it works the, the same way. Uh, so, yeah, so it's like they had the door rattle, revealed this small blue orb which moved across the room and disappeared through a wall. That's where I went with that one. I got, I, I went ahead of myself a little bit, so it went through a wall uh, on the other side. While um, there was like another guest that he had uh, was, he's like, he was quite uh, shaken by something. It doesn't, uh, but yeah, he was really shaken or was like worried or something. Could have had a panic attack for all we know. And uh, he needed to be uh, calm. It's like some, uh, it's like some person went and calmed them down, gave them a glass of brandy, sort of sat there, were talking to them, and then disappeared before the person's eyes. So it's like they had sat down, sort of calmed them down and everything, and then just like disappeared like smoke. Again, it's like I've, I've walked past this place. I know exactly where it is. Um, <laughs> It's like, yeah, you, you go to places all around town and everything. It's like, I've not been past there too often, but I know exactly where it is. I've walked right outside the pub. I probably had a drink in there before now. But if you want me to take a look on the, the paranormal side and actually stay at night there, um, by all means, write down in the comments. Actually, write in the comments if there are any places you want me to try and research about that you want me to... Um, Go in depth about see if I can find out stories and like folk tales and things like that about the area. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's in Dorset or not, uh, just any old place really. And I will see what I can find, see what I can dig up. It's I am honestly really fascinated by some of the stuff I've found. Uh, just like a, if you've not seen my past video, a little bit of an interesting fact for you. Uh, I found out that Christchurch was based on um, a folk tale again. Uh, about a beam that wasn't the right size, but then it w was uh, made. Uh, it's like in the morning it was longer and fitted, and it was like said that this mysterious builder in the night came and replaced it. And it's believed that sort of Christ was that person, so it's Christ helped build this church. By all means, leave uh, your ideas in the comments. Go and check out my Spotify playlist if you haven't already. Like this video if you want to see more like it. Um, there is going to be, like I say small series of these. This is number two out of 12, which means I've got 10 more to go and I am loving it. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna do more of these. Uh, I will catch you guys next time where I check out, uh, I'm going to leave this one as a mystery. I know that I yeah, seem to have a habit of revealing places. I will catch you guys next time when I check out another haunted place.